There was an email exchange I shared with Bridget Kelly where she was clearly unhappy. Her name is Christina Renna. Tonight, she's the first member of Governor Christie's staff to testify under oath about the George Washington Bridge scandal. Good evening, I'm Dana Tyler. Renna worked directly for Bridget Kelly, Christie's former deputy of staff, and she says Kelly asked her to delete at least one email that was potentially damaging. CBS 2's Christine Sloan has the story. I did. Christina Renna, a former Governor Chris State Christie staffer, correctly. takes an oath to tell the truth about the George Washington Bridge scandal. I had no knowledge of or involvement in the bridge lane closures. Getting emotional as a legislative committee okay. investigating right. the four day closure in September questions her. Take a minute, you okay? Renna worked directly under Bridget Kelly, Christie's ex deputy chief of staff, who sent the email time for some traffic problems in Fort Lee. On December 12th, when the governor told the world his staff wasn't involved, Renna says Kelly called her. She was enormously nervous. She led by saying, I didn't know anything about this, the lane closures. I countered with, now, well, yes, you did, because Mayor Sockledge called Evan. And I emailed you about it. Renna's proof, an email she sent Kelly in September saying sure Portley's mayor was asking ever another ever staffer future. if the closure was political retribution for not endorsing Christie. Renna writing, the mayor says first responders are having a terrible time. Kelly's response, good. She said, well, good can mean a bunch of different things. And then she said, um, you know, just do me a favor and get rid of it. I said, you want me to delete the email? I said that to her. Mm -hmm. And she said, yes, listen, I'm getting a lot of questions and I'm just really nervous. Renna deleted the email but sent it to another personal account. She described the day Kelly got well, fired. A lot of people were very upset about what transpired. A lot of people were genuinely in shock by it all. I'm getting upset even talking about it. A committee member says Kelly sent the email to the governor's chief counsel. The governor has denied any prior knowledge of the lane closures. In Trenton, New Jersey, Christine Sloan, CBS 2 News. A judge recently ruled Bridget Kelly and the, a former Christie campaign manager's Fifth Amendment rights would be violated if they turn over personal documents subpoenaed by this committee.